energy can be transferred. But energy can never, ever, under any circumstances, be created or destroyed. Yep, never, ever. There are, though, lots of different ways to store energy, including kinetic energy, internal energy, elastic potential energy, gravitational potential energy, nuclear energy, and magnetic energy. Let's look at some of these in more detail. Moving objects have kinetic energy. The more mass and speed they have, the more kinetic energy they have. All objects have internal energy, including both thermal energy contained in the vibration of its particles and also chemical energy, which is the energy stored in the bonds between particles. Elastic potential energy is stored when an elastic object changes shape in a reversible way. Like a catapult, the stretching or squashing stores energy. Gravitational potential energy is stored when an object is moved higher than or away from a gravitational field. The amount of energy stored depends on the vertical height of the object, the strength of the gravitational field and the mass of the object. Batteries are stores of chemical energy that create current. And some objects, like a Van de Graaff generator, are statically charged, while others can be magnetised and store magnetic energy. As mentioned, although energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can be transferred or converted from one type to another. For instance, one object can heat another cooler object, transferring heat energy. Energy can also be transferred mechanically through movement when the motion or position of an object changes, such as one ball hitting another on a pool table. Mechanical waves such as sound waves or the seismic waves created in an earthquake can also transfer energy mechanically. Electrical energy can be transferred when an electrical circuit is completed. The internal energy stored in a battery is transferred to moving charged particles in the wire. Lamps transfer visible light and thermal radiation to the surroundings. And when an object falls to the ground, the gravitational potential energy it possessed is converted to kinetic energy. Even food transfers energy. It contains chemical energy stored in the bonds between particles and eating and metabolising food creates an energy conversion in the body. In a similar way, burning an object like wood causes the internal energy in the wood to be converted into heat, sound and light, given out by the flames. When it comes to energy, there are three main equations that we need to understand and remember. The first allows us to calculate kinetic energy, the energy stored by a moving object. Kinetic energy equals half of the mass of an object multiplied by the square of its velocity. Because the velocity is squared in the equation, it has a huge impact on the total amount of kinetic energy. The second equation allows us to calculate gravitational potential energy. This is the mass of an object multiplied by the gravitational field strength multiplied by the height of the object from the ground. The third allows us to calculate elastic potential energy. This equals half the force multiplied by the extension of the spring, or half the spring constant multiplied by the square of the extension of the spring, 